So recently I made the champagne cardigan and the April cardigan from Petite Knit. I think on first glance both of these patterns look very very similar but they actually have a lot of differences so I thought it would be nice to put up a video sort of comparing and contrasting these two patterns in case you were wondering about which one would be better suited for your needs. So the first thing to talk to when we're thinking about the champagne cardigan versus the April cardigan is ease. The champagne cardigan has 10 inches of ease built into the pattern, so it is a quite oversized fit. The April cardigan has about 3 inches of ease, so it is a much more tailored fit. So that is the first thing to consider when you're choosing which one of these patterns you want to pick up. The next thing to consider is weight. The April cardigan uses a combination of DK weight and lace weight yarn to make something that is about worsted weight. Uh, this cardigan is a lot warmer and a lot bulkier, and obviously because we have a heavier weight yarn, it drapes a little bit differently. On the other hand, the April cardigan uses a combination of fingering weight and lace weight yarn to get something that approximates DK. So this one is a little bit lighter, it has a little bit more drape to it because you're using essentially a DK yarn versus a worsted weight yarn. So that's another important thing to consider when you're trying to decide between these two patterns. Maybe you already have yarn in your stash. So if you have DK weight yarn, go for the eight. So if you have DK weight yarn, you know, you might go for one. If you have fingering weight, you might go for the other. The next thing we're going to look at is the construction of the sort of like sleeve shoulder area. So on this, which is the April cardigan, uh, it has a saddle shoulder construction. So you have a wide section of the saddle shoulder right here, which splits off into sort of like some sleeve increases along the sleeve and then continues down into some raglan, traditional, more traditional raglan style stitches right at the bottom of the sleeve. So that sort of like three step shoulder gives you a lot more fitted, a lot more tailored look to the shoulder. And I really, really love it. On the other hand, the champagne cardigan uses an easier construction method of just raglan shaping along the shoulders. So it has a sort of semi-wide three-stitch raglan, and you'll see that on the full, you know two front sides and two back sides, and that continues all the way from the neck band to the bottom of the arm. So it's just one technique for increasing for the arms the entire way down. I will say that the champagne cardigan is a lot easier to make because it doesn't have all of those advanced construction techniques. Both of them use the make one right and make one left, but I found the April cardigan a lot more difficult to do my make ones because we're having to do them on the pearl side sometimes as well as the knit side, which I can find quite tedious. The next thing that we'll look at is the neckband of the cardigan. So for the champagne cardigan it has a double knit band and that is one of the reasons why this was the first one i decided to make because i was really interested in doing the double knit band so the double knit band you actually cast on twice the number of stitches wide that you want your band to be so this band is eight stitches wide so it cast on 16 stitches um, and then do the double knitting so what happens is it looks like stockinette both on the outside and the inside as well um, but it has a really nice clean finish and I think that the way that the buttonholes are integrated into the design makes the buttonholes look really, really nice as well. So this was obviously the first time I've done any buttonholes in knitting and I think they look great. So the button band on the April cardigan is a more traditional one by one rib. It is a lot easier to do. I did this button band in probably half a day, whereas on the champagne cardigan, it took me about three or four days of knitting to, to the, the double knit band. So this one is just a one by one rib. So the buttonholes again are made at the same time as you're doing the button band. I find that they don't look as nice in, in the one by one ribbing as they do in the double knit. I think the double knit looks a lot cleaner and a lot more finished. These kind of don't, I don't love the way that they look, but I do appreciate how much easier this was to put in. I think that uh, I plan on making this sweater again in a more neutral colorway, and I think what I do is take the April pattern for the whole body of the sweater, and then I might put the 
champagne cardigan neckband onto the April sweater, and I think that would be like my perfect cardigan. Um, so a little combination of both of the patterns. I hope this has helped you sort of understand the differences between the April and champagne cardigan and helped you in choosing which pattern you'd like to do next. I'll see everyone next time. Take care.